Maliki Leaky Maka, everyone. Chef Shea Bear here. I got my new chef's hat on. Um, not really. It's just a running joke between a, a friend of mine, uh, Mark's Adventures, and I. We just, it's kind of a joke. Uh, but anyway, so I did this for him. So, Merry Christmas, buddy. <laughs> so, anyway, guys. I'm going to be doing some baking today. I'm going to start off with some bread. I'm not going to show you every little detail because I I made bread before and I'm going to make a few different things. So what I'm I'm just you know going to, I'm going to make some cookies. I'll show you some of that. Um, they're real. They're the easiest recipes I could find to do this stuff. But like I said, it's not going to be a how-to. If you want me to do like the cookies and stuff, because I've already done the bread in previous videos on Chef Shea Bear. But if you want me to do the cookies again sometime to show you, I might even make some fudge tonight. I'm not sure. I was going to make some noodles, but I think that might wait. Um, and we might make a um, an apple crumble. So we'll have to see. But anyway, I'm just going to bring you along with what I'm doing. Um, today is Saturday, so tomorrow's Christmas Eve. i uh, got another live stream to do of the lights. And so... Um, but I'm going to do what I can tonight and then I may do some tomorrow. The noodles, I might wait until Christmas and make them Christmas Day. We'll just have to see how it plays out. But anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching and let's get on to baking some bread. This is easy stuff here. So let me get you set up over here. I'll show you what I got and we'll go from there. Okay guys, start off with our bread. I'm going with 13 ounces of hot tap water, which is just about one and two thirds cups. I'm gonna pour that in there. Again, hot tap water. I've got one and a quarter teaspoon of instant yeast. I'm gonna put this in here. And I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt. It's not very much salt, guys. And remember, in order to have that much salt intake, you'd have to eat the whole loaf. What the salt doesn't really flavor the bread. It 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 helps the yeast. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our flour in. We have three and a half cups of flour. This is just all-purpose flour. Like I said, I've made this recipe before, and uh, it, is on my, it is on my channel. This is no touch. This is uh, what's called turbo bread. It's no need. You're not going to have to knead it. You don't have to touch the dough or anything. And I'm just using the end of a spoon here. You don't need a mixer or anything like that. We're just going to incorporate this all together. And this bread tastes very good. Now, of course, you know, it's nowhere near like the old fashioned way where you had to knead it and all that stuff. Now, I'm going to go back the other way and I'm just going to kind of fold it over. Just kind of turn it and fold it a little bit and I just got me a little plastic spoon here or silicone spoon or spatula whatever just going to scrape it down make sure all the flowers in there give it another little just make sure everything's incorporated nice like I said it doesn't this it's very forgiving you I mean you don't have to spend a lot of time with it and that's all we're going to do with this for right now now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up with a lint-free cloth or 
you know, towel. You can use foil. You can just put another pan on top of it if you want. And I'm going to put it in a, in a, a warm place. Um, now, I'm going to use the oven. We are in Florida. Um, but, you know, if it's a sunny day, you can put it in the... You can put it in the uh, in window, in the sun, or whatever. I just heated the oven up just a smidgen, just so it's warm. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to set it in there for one hour and 30 minutes. Um, while that's doing that, let's start with some cookies. Okay, now we're going to make the cookies. We're just going to start off by using some cake mix. This is Duncan Hines. You can use Betty Crocker. This is perfectly moist. Just some classic yellow, and I'm going to dump this in here. Just like that. Now I'm going to get a half a cup of oil and pour that in there. And two whole eggs. Now I'm going to mix this up. I'm just going to use this. We're just going to mix this up. Keep mixing it until you get a perfect batter. You can use a hand mixer if you want. But I try to exercise my right hand as much as possible. So I'm going to get this mixed up real well. And um, I'll be back with you when we're going to put in the other stuff. We got some goodies to put in here. You probably see them sitting right over here. Now we're going to put in a half a cup of this is just this is all I'm using here. I guess you can use unsweetened and sweet and whatever you want. It's just Hershey's uh, chocolate chips. A half a cup of M&M's. You want to get festive you can just use the red and green ones but now it probably goes without saying there may be just a little bit more of the M&Ms and chocolate chips in here than a half a cup but you know it happens right so I'm, I'm just gonna stir this up and fold this together get it all blended nice and neat and I'll bring you back when we're oh my oven's ready I'll bring you back while I'm doing this while I was doing this I had my oven preheating at 350 degrees this is going to go on your cookie sheet and I've got one over here lined with some um, parchment paper all right So I'm just going to take just an ice cream dipper or whatever. If you're good at it, just take your spoon and dump it right on there. Something like that. And I'm going to do that until I get this filled up and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay, I got, like I said, the oven's preheated at uh, 350 degrees. I'm just going to put these in here. It calls for 12 minutes. I'm checking them at 10 because this oven of ours is really hot. Alexa, give me 10 minutes on the timer, please. Good evening, Marty. 10 minutes, starting now. Alright, guys. Now, I'll come back with you when this is done. That The bread is sitting over there in front of the, the heater, kind of. Um, it's still got an hour left to proof. And then, when we put it into the pan, it's going to proof for another 30 minutes. But... We'll get to that. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and cook these since it doesn't take that long. And maybe even give them a shot and see what they taste like. Before we start on the next batch of cookies, which are going to be a fudge style cookie. Okay guys, we're going to get these out of the oven. They were bigger than I thought. <laughs> so I did. it did end up taking the whole 12 minutes. And I don't know if I told her to set the timer at 10 minutes or... Uh, nine minutes, but it seemed awful fast. Okay, so there, there they are. They look good. We're gonna let them cool, and then we're gonna we're gonna try one. 
Ooh, very nice. I don't know if you can see the underneath of that. It looks good. Let's let them cool for a few minutes. And then we'll give them a shot. And then we're going to move on to the Texas sheet cake cookies, I guess. Anyway, like I said, I never made these recipes. I got them off the internet. I got them off of YouTube. So, you know, I don't know if it's just going to taste like a cake or if it's actually going to taste like a cookie. But we'll find out in a few minutes. Stick around. Okay, guys, so I broke one in half here. Let's give it a shot. Let's just see if it tastes like cake or if it does taste like a cookie. It tastes like a cookie. And a damn good one, too. <laughs> All right. I've got 37 more minutes for the, for the bread to... Um, to proof so I got time I'm gonna go ahead and make up the other batch of cookies <laughs> and uh, we get started on that okay guys now we're gonna put our super moist this is Betty Crocker wonder how she ended up with two of them I think the yellow one they didn't have Betty Crocker or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to use. But this is what we're using. Uh, chocolate fudge. This stuff is for the icing. So we're going to put... This is going to take... What is that? Oh. <laughs> this is going to take one third of a cup. I don't have my glasses on to see. But I think it says one third of a cup. Yeah. Of oil instead of half a cup but it is going to get two eggs as well now I'm just going to do the same thing I'm going to mix it up this is going to be a thicker a, th a thicker batter it's going to be almost like play-doh so I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to get it put on here and I'll show you when we put it in the oven this is only going to go in the oven for nine minutes so that could have been what I was thinking a little bit ago, but still, I did let them other ones go for 12 minutes. These will be 9 minutes, but let me get this mixed up. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I went ahead and licked the bowl. I mean, you know, washed the bowl. So we're going to put these in here. They're in 50 degrees as well. 9 minutes on this one, except I'm going to go 8, and then I'll check them. Alexa, 8 minutes on the timer. Alright guys, we'll be back, and then while these are cooling, we're going to use this pan up here on the stove that you can't see. I don't know why I even tried to show you. And then we're going to make our icing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And we're going to let them cool, and we're going to get started on the icing. So... I'm going to let them cool for a few more minutes, and then we'll get started on the icing. Alexa, stop timer. Okay, now we're going to make the icing. I'll turn this on. I'm going to add three tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of cocoa. This is Hershey's cocoa. And one quarter cup of softened butter. And I'm going to let this butter melt and this milk and chocolate and everything get all melted down and so we can get it mixed up. And then we'll add our, um, this stuff, <laughs> uh, powdered sugar, which is two cups of that. Now you should, um, now I'm just trying to do this slowly. Um. You should add that, the uh, powdered sugar, it's getting too hot on the bottom. Um, you should add it one cup, at a, one cup at a time. So when it gets like this, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to add about half of this. Uh, 
I probably should have sifted it, but it doesn't really call to do that. Might not have had quite a amount. I just kind of guessed at the butter, but it's okay. All right, let me get this mixed up, and then we're going to put our icing. That's what this is going to be. We're going to put it over top of our cookies. So. Let me get this done. Okay, now we're going to dump this over top of our cookies. As you can see, I put them on a little, like a cooling rack. Um, I did add a little bit more milk because it was kind of thick. It probably would have poured out, but I just wanted to make sure. So I probably added probably, I don't know why I said probably twice, but it was about maybe two tablespoons more I think I got it too hot on the burner but that's okay if you got a piping bag or something I'm sure you could do this a lot easier or... but it's not real thick as you can see Texas sheet cake cookies alright we're gonna let these cool down in the meantime the bread is ready to be put in the pan. I'm going to go lick this pan. I mean, wash this pot. <laughs> and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. Now it's time to get back on our bread. And all I'm going to do is degas this. Pull and stretch and degas, I guess they call it. So I'm just doing the same thing as a dough hook would do. And this, like I said, we'll have to proof one more time for 30 minutes. See, I'm just degassing it, pulling it. Made this bread, like I said before, but I made it several times, though, off camera, you know. Monkey and her mom really likes it, so. All right, now, this is a... Uh, what is it, eight inch? Just a cake pan. Cake pan, is that? Bread pan, cake pan. Uh, bread pan, I'm just using some non-stick pan. This is what we use right there, original. You can get butter flavored. Um, I really can't tell a difference. I can't taste the butter in it. But so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna take this that's coming out nicely. We're going to put it in our pan. Just going to kind of smooth it out. It'll it'll help uh, once it proofs again. You know, it'll it'll lay down a little bit more, a little bit flatter. So I'm just going to cover this up again. 30 minutes and then we'll get it put in the oven all right <clears throat> while we're waiting on the bread the icing hasn't quite set up yet but I don't care I'm trying it mm. tastes like fudge cookies I thought it being cake mix it would taste more like a cake and I'm not a cake eater these are very good what I like about the stuff that I'm doing here it's easy. Your kids, your grandkids come over. You don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff and just throw something like this together with them. It's a lot of fun. Alright, we got 27 more minutes left for the cake or for the bread to proof. Then we'll put it in the oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees. I probably won't go the 40 minutes, it'll probably be around 35 or 36 in my oven. But that's what it calls for. Uh, 400 degrees at 40 minutes. Okay guys, so it's proofed for 30 more minutes. I thought it would have ri risen higher than that. It, it should have, but sometimes 
it'll raise up good and sometimes it won't. I don't know if uh, Monkey bought me some some fresh yeast, but I had a packet in the drawer, so it might have been stale. I just grabbed that one before I opened. Uh, it was it was unopened, but it was an older pack, so I just grabbed it. So maybe that's the reason why. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Alexa, stop. And again, I think I'm going to go with right now, in 30, degrees Fahrenheit. let's go 35 minutes and I'll and check it. Has just a few clouds in the sky with a low of and we'll see what it looks like. Now, we're not going to cut into this tonight because this is for Christmas. So, you know, you'll have to trust me. But we'll be able to tell what it looks like when it comes out of the pan. Okay, guys. So, get this out of the oven now. There it is. Oh, nice. Look at that. Turned out beautiful. Like I said, we're not going to cut it today. But, yeah, what do you guys think? So there's three things. I don't think I'm going to make... Here, let me kick you around here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make uh, the noodles or the apple crunch tonight. Um... Uh, my legs are killing me <laughs> walking around here. Uh, so I'll probably just... I'll, I'll, I'm going to help Monkey make a um, apple pie tomorrow. So I might make the, the apple crunch tomorrow. If I do that, I'll do that in its own little video. And um, might even throw in some footage of us making her pie. I don't know. But and then I think the noodles, I'm just going to go ahead and make them... Christmas day Christmas morning I think that'll be fine because they're pretty easy to make too I also have a video on them as well so anyway guys Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, Happy Hanukkah Feliz Navidad you know Melikiliki Maka we'll see you guys in the next one um, Christmas Eve which is tomorrow night 8 p.m. Eastern time we're gonna do another live stream of the lights hopefully I can get my uh, my swivel working um, well it works fine it's just the batteries we put cheap batteries in it last night it didn't last very long at all so I'm gonna try to find my cord for it maybe we can plug it in that way it'll be panning for you guys so anyway thanks for everybody who joined in last night thanks for everyone that joined that watched it afterwards I really appreciate it again Merry Christmas everyone we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now New chef hat. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Bye-bye and take care.